guys, welcome back for another custom minifigure video. I'm using a different stand this time, so it might be different. But, so, this video is custom objects and minifigures from, from The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and 2. 3 hasn't come out yet, it's gonna come out, I think, like, 2022, because right now it's 2021, so. Um, I'm gonna use my Razor Crest as my background. And so let's get... Let's get into the video. So, first off, we have Baby Yoda's pod. I don't know if I should dissect all the pieces that you'll need for this, but, so this, but let's get started. So, to make this pod, you'll need, wait, hold on, let me get it. Okay, so to make this pod, you will need the Baby Yoda minifigure obviously, or figure, I guess, or baby fig. I don't know what the official name for that one is, but, so you'll need that guy, and I, I'll just take him out for now. You'll also need this, so, like, I think the rarest piece out of all of these is this piece. It It's a one-by-one one brick, but it has a stud on both sides, but not on the out, on other sides. I don't have a white one, so I just use this gray one. And you'll need this piece, which is like an upside down one of that, of that curve, of that curve piece that comes in a lot of sets. And then I use two white um, ones of that piece that I was just talking about, like that this one's upside down of. So you stick them on like that, together, symmetrical. Okay, now for the other half. Um, I use this lightsaber piece. Um, it doesn't have to be blue, I just made mine blue, or just any piece that size. And I use this dark blue stu dark black stud with uh, one of those holes in it for a pole. I used uh, this claw. I used this white little piece that, um, has four, that comes out and has four studs on it. And I stuck this little two by two disc um, like plate, like, um, disc, and I use with that one little stud on it, and then I use two of these radar dish pieces stacked on top of each other that are white, and I just stuck it on like this, make sure the claw is facing like that, and so you take the other half, and so you see that part down there, that little gray part, you just wedge onto it, and then you push up right in the middle there, to get it to sort of con to get it to sort of connect like that. Your final result should be this, and then you stick those pieces to make it hover, like I said before, right onto the back of there, like that. And then <clears throat> you take the Baby Yoda minifigure. Hold on, yeah, you take the Baby Yoda minifigure. Pop him right in there. He should fit perfectly, but he might move side to side a little bit like that. Couldn't fix that. Okay, so that wraps up Baby Yoda's pod. Um, next up is for some some Mandalorian custom minifigures, not this. So first is Moff Gideon and the Dark Saber. So to make this minifigure, I use the black katana sword from Ninjago. Um. I mean, to make the dark saber, I guess I used this black katana sword from Ninjago, and put a little one by one stud with that hole in it, and just slotted it on there. It falls off if you turn it upside down like that. Mine just fell. Hold on, let me get it. Yeah, and then, so while it's like that, and so this minifigure, the minifigure itself, this hair is from Finn from Lego Star Wars. That. Head is from Lando Calrissian from the Rise of Skywalker Millennium Falcon set with a plain black cape, which comes in a lot of different places. I use this papery one, but it doesn't really matter. The torso and arms are from this really, really old, like, um, like, um, TIE Fighter pilot. And I use, and I switch the black hands for brown ones to match the skin. And I use the legs from Darth Vader or Darth Vader from the Advent Calendar. It doesn't really matter. And after that, you can take your dark saber and just plop it right on there. It should be on the blade itself, not the handle. 
Okay, that wraps up Mouth Gideon and on to the next minifigure. So next up is Old Man Boba Fett. I used the head from uh, the like the 501st Legion troop for like from one of the 501st Legion troopers. The torso, arms, and hands are all from this re are all from one of the rebels in the rebel pack a while ago. Um, with like dark gray legs stuck on there. Um, you could find one with printing. It's just the one that I used. And then. I know um, um, one of this already exists, but when I made this custom, I didn't have that. So you can just use this one, like from the Trouble on Tatooine set, or like any jo any of those Tuscan Raider sets. Or you can make your own if you don't have it. So this is how to make this. You use this brown pole. You I mean, you use this brown cone piece, like one of the little, little, little ones. I use this piece from Thor from Stormbreaker. It's like one of those little pieces, except it has the studs on the sides instead of the top. Attached to this brown pole, which comes in a lot of different sets, with a dark gray stud with a hole in it, and then a silver one of these from like a Minecraft uh, uh, dispenser, like from one of those. And then you can like just give it to him, and then that's. <laughs> Hope you guys like this minifigure. So, on to the next one. Next up is, uh, wait, he right in the middle. I think his name was, like, Mayfield from, like, when we first saw him with that robot arm over his shoulder. And so I'll do a tutorial on the whole minifigure. So that head is from one of the Rebels from the Rebel, um, from the Rebel pack a while ago. Torso and arms are from that one guy with that great hood. He, he came in the advent calendar and some other sets. And switch the hands for peach ones, and the legs are also from one of the rebel rebel uh, from one of the rep, from the rebel pack a while ago. And I gave him this little gun, and the tutorial on his back robot arm gun, I guess, the robot arm that's holding a gun. I use this. Um, I don't know the official name for this, but one of those back clips with that one stud on it. I use this little gun piece stuck on there like that. It doesn't have to be light gray, it's just the one that I found. I used the, one of these little pieces from the Outriders or a bunch of other Lego sets. But the Outriders is where they're most common. You can get so much of them in those sets. <laughs> and another one of those small blasters just stuck into, into the Outrider's hand. And then you connect it to there. And then once you do that, it should slot nicely over his shoulder unless you've used the wrong size ones. And so on to the next minifigure. So here is that, oh wait, hold on. Here is like Baby Yoda's babysitter she was for a little while in like a couple episodes. And I gave her this pit droid from the advent calendar because it's really, really good. I use this dark brown hair from Mrs. Marvel from one of the old Mar from one of the old ish Marvel sets. The head is pro from Professor McGonagall from the Hogwarts Great Hall, specifically that one, the one with her glasses. Well, this character doesn't wear glasses, so that doesn't work very well. The torso and arms and maybe hands. They might have been a different color from uh, Han Solo from the Assault on H the small Assault on Hoth set, that little one that just came with the top turret and a little bow end, and a bit of dark brown legs. That wrap that wraps up this minifigure. Wow, she was flying all over the place. So, hope you guys liked this video. If you want to see more of this, or if you actually made these minifigures instead of just watching it and saying it was cool, um, please say so in the comments below. Again, I have so much Marvel ones, I just made a couple of Mandalorian ones, so I just did it in this showcase. Bye.